everyone in this video i want to quickly go over how you can use f expressions to create more complicated queries in django so typically when you write a query in django you're using one field at a time for something so you're comparing it to a fixed value or you're just getting the value of that field directly in your result but in this video i'll show you how to use f expressions to do something a little more complicated than what you're used to and then you'll be able to kind of extend this idea to write more complicated queries when it comes time to work on your projects. So first I wanna show you the models that I have set up. It's basically an e-commerce store. So I have customer, product, order, and line item. And I'm pretty sure you're already familiar with those ideas. I have some fake data already set up in the database. So when I write the queries, I'll be able to get a result right away. I'll go over to my views.py file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the queries inside of this view and that's just to make it easy for you to download the code and modify the queries yourself since i won't really be doing anything with the view it's not necessary but like i said it's good for allowing other people to download the code so the first query that i want to write is i want to get the total price of a particular line item right so a line item is composed of the order that it belongs to the product that is being sold or purchased in that line item and then the quantity of that line item. So for example, if I'm selling something that's $10 and they buy one of it, then the subtotal is $10. If they buy three of it, then the subtotal will be $30. So that is the result that I want to get. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have an annotation and inside of the annotate, I'm going to multiply the price of the product for that line item times the quantity so I can get the result. So to do that, I'm going to take my line item table, which I've already imported, and I'll do objects. And then what I want to do is I want to annotate this. So annotate, and I'll call this subtotal. So this is going to be the pseudo column that's created. So because I'm dealing with two columns, this is where the F expression comes into play. So I can take an F expression. So I imported F from Django.db.models. Then inside of the F expression, I can pass in the field that I'm interested in. So in this case, I want the product underscore price or dunder price, and I'm going to multiply it by the quantity. So to do that, I create another F expression, and then I can take the quantity field. So I'm dealing with the line item model, which has quantity on itself, and then product is a foreign key. So I have to use the dunder to get the price. And when I do this, I'm just multiplying the price by the quantity. Without the F expression here, I wouldn't be able to multiply these two things because there's no other way to represent that I wanna multiply two fields together. And then what I can do is I can return this as the result. So let's just say line items. And what I wanna do is I want to loop over the line items and just display the total that is being calculated. So I can say for line item in line items, I'm just going to print to the console. I want to print the line item dot quantity. I want to print the price for the particular product that line item. So I can do um, line item dot product dot price. I should be able to do that. And then finally, I can print out the subtotal. So line item dot subtotal. So let's see if this works. So I just need to go to my browser to refresh, but I won't actually use it for anything. So refresh and then go back. And I have quite a bit of data in the database, so it takes a while to process. But if we look here at the last one, we see a quantity of three, then I have $29 as the price, and then 87 is the total. I have one thing that is 49, so it's 49. I have four things that are 88 and it's 352. So this is the calculation that I want. I was able to multiply the price times the quantity. So now another thing I can do is I can get the total of all of these added up together. So I can take a look at all of the orders that I have in my database and get basically like the total revenue of my store. So what I'll do is I'll comment these out. Let me just put the triple quotes around it so I can move on to the next example. And what I'll do here is I'll write another query. So line item dot objects dot aggregate, right? Because I want to aggregate across the entire set of results. 
And what I can do is I can have something called like total and I want to sum. So I'm bringing in sum from django.db.models. And this is where I use the F expressions again. So I don't want to just sum the price of the product because there are certain quantities involved and I don't want to sum the quantity because then I won't have the price. So I need to multiply both together and then take the sum of those two things. So if I use the F expression again, I can do the same thing that I did before. So product under price, and I can multiply that by another F expression of quantity. And then when I do this, first let me assign this to results. And I just want to print out the results. So print result.total. And then I'll refresh. And this is just a pure dictionary. So let me change this to the dictionary syntax. And now I see that I have, uh, looks like 1.8 million, right? Yes, yeah, so 1.8 million basically as the total. If I wanted to get the average, I can just substitute average for sum, and then I can refresh the page again. And I get the average 186. And I don't just have to multiply things or just do some kind of math with multiple columns. I can also compare them. So in my order table, I have order date, ship date, and deliver date. So if I wanna find all of the orders that have the same order date and ship date, meaning that the order was shipped out the same day that it was ordered, I can find that. So I can write a query, so order.objects. And what I want to do is I want to use a filter. So I want to filter by the rows that have the same ship date and order date. So I can say order date is equal to, and I wanna compare it to another column, so I need to use an F expression. So F and then the ship date. And then what I want to do is I want to loop over this. So let me call this orders. And then I can loop over this and basically return all of the orders that have been shipped on the same day they were ordered. So for order and orders, just print uh, order dot order date and then order dot ship date. So I expect to see the same thing here. And if I look at all the dates, they match. So July 7th, July 7th, July 16th, July 16th, and so on. So these are just random dates that I have. I have, I believe a thousand rows in the database, but this is clearly not a thousand. And finally, to do something just a little more complicated, let's say I want to find all the orders that were shipped within three days instead of shipped on the same day. So I'm gonna do another query order.objects. And what I want to do first is I want to determine how many days were in between shipping and ordering. So I can do an annotation. And inside the annotation, I'm going to have the F expressions. So I wanna annotate and I'll call this something like processing time. And I'll use the F expression. I'll do ship dates and then minus another F expression, order dates. And now that I have that processing time, I can filter by it. So what I wanna do is I wanna find all the orders that have a processing time less than three days. So I can do a filter. And in that filter, I can say processing time, which I can now use inside of a filter. Dunder LT for less than. And then I can use a time delta that I imported already. And I can say days equals three. So this will give me all of the orders that were processed in less than three days. So then I can just take this here, which is going to be the same loop. And I'll just paste it. And I'll be able to see all the orders that were shipped within three days. And here, if we just take a look, this order was shipped on June 4th, or it ordered on June 4th, shipped June 5th. This one, March 19th, shipped on the 20th. This one's the same day. Let's see if we have any that are more than a day. Here, this one was shipped on June 16th, or June 18th, ordered on June 16th and it just follows the same pattern. So once again, it doesn't give me everything in the database because some orders were shipped more than three days after they were ordered, but the ones that were shipped within three days are all shown here. 
So you can obviously do more with F expressions, but I just wanted to introduce this to you if you weren't familiar with them. And I hope I was able to at least show you enough to give you an idea of where you need to go in certain cases. So sometimes you do need to write queries like this, and it's not really obvious exactly how you do it in Django unless you've been reading through the documentation or you've experienced this before. So eventually it will come to a point where you need to do something like this. And now if you know F expressions, you may know how to solve the problem that you're trying to solve, how to write the query that you need to write. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.